the last day on DoorDash, okay, this is a question I have been asking drivers and dashers alike for a long time now, okay? My question to all of you is, with all of the craziness that has been going on in the last year or so, okay, when is it time to call it quits? When is your last day on DoorDash? This is what we're talking about. This is what I want to know. At what point do things have to get so bad for you where you say, I've had it. Here's the towel, like a boxing match. I'm throwing in the towel. How bad does it have to be? Okay? In the chat, in the comments section, please let me know. Okay? How bad does it actually have to get? At what point do things have to get so bad that you guys say to yourselves, you know what? This isn't for me anymore. I think I'm going to go and work that W-2 job. I think I'm going to go and find something else to provide for myself, to provide for my family. Because gas prices took many drivers out of the game. Okay? Low payouts have taken many drivers out of the game. But I will tell you, millions of drivers are still hanging on, hanging on for dear life. I mean, recently we've seen many debates about top dasher status, okay? And to for me to weigh in takes me two seconds. Top dasher status is not for everyone, okay? It works for certain drivers and dashers, and for others it doesn't. Because what's the golden rule of the gig economy? Every market is different. Leave a quick comment right now in the chat or the comment section. Just say, every market is different. Because when you hear me say something or another creator or someone on Facebook or whatever say something that works in our market, and then you go and try it and it doesn't work, and you're like, oh, that guy lied. It doesn't work. It's like, well, it maybe it doesn't work for you. That's what it really comes down to. Jersey Man 42, every market is different. That's right. And if you haven't yet, hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications and tap that like button real quick. Comment 111 if you hit that like. Jason, it's already happening. DoorDash in particular has litanies of issues. The downfall isn't imminent. It's active now. You know? Every market is different. Hashtag Top Dasher. If Top Dasher works for you, Kristen, go for it. Go get your money. Jersey Man, Pete, you work in the apps anymore? So a lot of people ask me this question. I am a part-time driver and have been ever since uh, COVID-19 started. So, uh, yes, I am. Um, everything's active and, uh, I'm part time, no longer full time. So hopefully that answers the question. Um, but going back to my, uh, what I was saying in the chat or the comments, please let me know what would it have to take for you to throw in the towel finally with Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or just the gig economy in general for me. It would have to be if the orders keep dropping more and more and more and more, you know, as far as payouts, you know, so I, I got to hear from you. This is a huge topic. I do. How's the challenger? Uh, still got it. Yes. Uh, I have it covered up at my parents' house. Actually, I haven't had um, much time uh, to drive it anymore. Uh, Justin Tubbs, every market is different. That's right. What's up, Ray? And Ray, you're not the first person to hear this, man, uh, that I heard this from. You can't even do dash challenges anymore. Everything is saturated because there's too many drivers out there. Uh, what's up, Ken? Uh, Pete, you're right on uh, what you're saying. Every market is different. I've been a dasher for almost two years. I was not doing it in the early part of the pandemic, but I still managed to do okay. No, I hear you. 